Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your December 2020 future love reading. This is for Cancer. Cancer, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Cancer, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. This is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer's future love? What is going on with Cancer's future love? Ooh. This could be the one. So they got eyes on you. You've already met the romantic partner you seek and worth waiting for. So it's only a matter of time. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So it's only a matter of time before they come forward, before you accept their advances. So you could be the one for them, Cancer. They got eyes on you. Let's see what's going on here. What's the holdup? All right. This is for Cancer. What's going on with their future love? If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every cancer out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for cancer. This is for cancer. This is for cancer. What is going on with their future love? Okay. Okay, there's waiting involved here. They think the world of you. They want a balanced situation here, and they want a new beginning. Um, this person, I feel like they have some obstacles that they need to deal with here. I feel like this person has been kind of in and out of your life cancer and they want to uh, balance the scales um, they want to be I feel like you you've given um, a lot of yourself to this person um, but they know that they have a big decision to make whether that is between um, two people uh, two places career something here um, there is something that keeps um, pulling them away. They keep coming back they, and, it, and then they get pulled away again. So whatever that is, it is an obstacle that they are going to have to make a decision about. But you are the one. So this person has been back and forth in your life, in and out of your life. And they are trying to figure all of this out, come up with some sort of plan here. But right now, um, there's waiting involved. And it's only a matter of time before they can release, let go of whatever this obstacle is that is holding them back from you. So two of pentacles, that is earth energy. Yeah, they want to break free. They want to make a decision. They want to break free of this obstacle, whether it is a person, place, or thing, whatever that is. And they want to take a risk. They want this new beginning to happen here with you, a real new beginning. Not, you know, I'm here one minute, gone the next to take care of other things or whatever. They want to take a chance. They want to be open. They want to be free of these obstacles so this new beginning can truly happen here, right? And they want to give you solid offers because they know you are, 
Number one, uh, worth waiting for, you are worth this kind of offer right here. It's sincere, it's grounded. This is a very slow moving situation here with this Knight of Pentacles, right? That horse don't move, but um, they wanna come to you. This is my coming to you correctly card, right? Very sincere, very grounded, very loyal, right? And they, they um, know that you've given a lot to the situation in the past and they kind of breadcrumbed you a little bit. Um, but they want to balance those scales and give you a real offer that you've been waiting for. And, um, yeah, it's all about divine timing on this one. Slow moving process here. Nine of Pentacles, that's earth energy. So when it, you know, when it's hot, it's hot. And then there's, um, breaks in the action. So, um, there are periods where the two of you don't talk. Four of Swords, this is air energy. So, um, there's quiet periods between the two of you, but um, they do a lot of thinking about you during those quiet periods. They think about you quite a bit. And they think about the situation and what they're going to do and how they can... Um, just finally let go of these obstacles and be with you and balance the scales here for you. All right, so they got a lot on their mind, um, a, a lot going on with them. Four of Swords, that is um, air energy. All right, Cancer, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up all the better keep in mind time is fluid cross watchers keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable it's a general reading so you assign the roles as you wish like i said when it's hot they come in hot but when it's cold they go very quiet and they have to deal with other people places or things and you're left wondering like what's going on here right um so Knight of Wands, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a player. I would call it um, inconsistency. They have things that they need to settle down and figure out over here, but what they really want is you. All right, so when it's hot, it's hot though. Knight of Wands, that is fire energy. So the hangman, um, they haven't said what their plans are really. Um, they know what they want, right? But they are, whatever this obstacle is, they're being very self-sacrificing there, right? And um, there's waiting involved in this situation, okay? There's waiting. Um, they see you as very independent, um, fierce. You got it going on, male or female, doesn't matter. Single lady card, single person card, nine of pentacles. So... They know you want a solid offer from them, and this is what they want to give you. But they have to do certain things in order to get to this point. That's why the situation is very slow moving on their end, right? Nine of Pentacles, that is Earth energy. So they have a lot of respect for you, um, and they want somebody like you in their life because you got it going on, Cancer, right? You look really good here. Um, so like I was saying before, you put a lot of effort into the situation and it felt like all they were doing was taking, it wasn't balanced, but they want to balance the scales here. They want to be very generous to you, right? This is six of pentacles and they want it to be a nice balance here between the two of you. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. This person is going through a lot of uh, realizations. They may have uh, woken up to the connection of what it really is and what you really mean to them because you're a very solid, very caring person, right? And you make them very happy and they want to be, they want to make you happy. This is the happiest card in the tarot and they really want this new beginning to get off on the right foot and so that they can leave the past in the past these obstacles behind 
so they want they want this new beginning to happen it's just a matter of when but they're coming up with some sort of a plan they're working on it they're very focused on this okay they're very focused on you they're very focused on the offers that they want to give to you with this eight of pentacles and they want to put a lot more time and energy and effort into the situation with you. So you do not feel taken advantage of here. This is for cancer. Oops. What is going on with their future love? Any more information in regards to cancer's future love? What is going on with cancer's future love? They know that they've disappointed you in the past. There you are. They got to walk away from something that is not fulfilling them. Um, they're going to be communicating a lot with you. I feel like communication is going to pick up and stay at a more steady pace here. Um, so there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication here with this Eight of Wands. All right. So... They know that they have disappointed you in the past with their inconsistent tendencies, like hot one minute, cold the next type of way that they were, that they were behaving so that they, they know that they, you know, disappoint you. A lot of unkept promises here, but they are, you know, there's going to be some waiting involved and they hope that you will kind of stick this thing through um, because again, they see you. Um, exactly as you are with this queen of cups, beautiful, handsome, whatever, male or female, just a good energy, very caring, very nurturing, but you need somebody that's going to be able to feel, fill that big old cup of love, right? So, um, I just don't think they have, it, they may have told you a bit of the plan, but not, um, how serious they are about it or the or how hard they've been working towards trying to get to you and balance these things out for you um they know that they um have left you empty and there are times when you want to turn your back on them completely they hope you don't do that um, they don't want you to go anywhere. They themselves need to make a hard decision and leave whatever this obstacle is, whether again, it's a person, place, thing, whatever. A lot of pinnacles here. It could be like a, a job situation. It could be another person. I mean, you assign, you know, um, you, it's specific to your particular situation here. But they have to leave behind, you know, something that doesn't fulfill them anymore and come towards you with this Eight of Cups. So they're making those big decisions. And Three of Wands, you know, we're not at the Two of Wands anymore. The Three of Wands is more of the decision has been made and now we're in the planning and waiting period. And um, so they're going to make this decision. And they're looking out into the future and they're turning their back on these obstacles that stand in uh, between you. So they're hoping in the meantime, you don't fully get impatient and turn your back on them because this person has realized that you are the one, that you are their soulmate, that they would have a nice, um, loving, um, balanced relationship with you, Cancer. So isn't that beautiful? So that's a nice reading there. Um, it's challenging. It's a very challenging situation. But this person's waking up to what the connection is and what you mean to them. And you mean a lot to them, Cancer. You, you do. Um, but I can see how this can be very frustrating for you. Um, but decisions are going to be made. Um, and divine timing is, is coming around the bend here and, um, planning, they're planning and they're looking out into the future and hopefully you will still be there. So cancer, that is your future love reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. 
Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters out there. And Cancer, next week I'll be working on the big um, monthly readings, so check those out. And for those of you new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day around noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, all that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. So check all of that out. You guys have a beautiful week and you take very good care of yourself and stay happy and healthy out there. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care and God bless.